If you're about to buy a home, one of the decisions you're gonna to have to make throughout the process is what lender do you plan on using? Not only are you gonna to have to pick a loan officer or a mortgage loan originator, you're gonna to have to decide what institution are you gonna to go to to get that loan or to secure the loan. So today we're gonna to actually talk about that a little bit and we're gonna kinda of unpack how to figure out where you should go, who you should talk to, and some of the questions you may wanna ask. <clears throat> Now, if you're new to the channel, I do do these videos unscripted. Uh, so I'm just talking straight into the camera as if I was talking to you or a client uh, or anyone else who may have some real estate questions. Uh, my name is Jonas Helbert. I am the broker owner of Streetlight Realty. And this YouTube channel, I've named it the Miami Valley Experience because not only are we gonna discuss and educate consumers on real estate related topics such as lending for today, or buying or selling or investing in real estate. All of those types of things are gonna be covered on this channel, but we also highlight our local communities. So you're gonna see some food reviews. Uh, we haven't done any yet, but we got some attractions that people should go visit in the area, and we do cover the entire Miami Valley. So if you're looking to buy or sell some real estate uh, anywhere in the Miami Valley, make sure you're reaching out to us. We'd be more than happy to help. But like I said, we're discussing lending, if you're about to buy a home, this is gonna be something that you have to cover. So let's kind of jump into it and, and just let you know real quick, I do have a couple of notes just off to the side here and I'm gonna be kind of glancing over from time to time. It's not a hot new listing that's hitting the market that I'm glancing over at. I just wanna make sure that we cover everything and all of our bases are covered by the end of this video. Okay, so the first thing I wanna tackle just really quickly is what is a mortgage lender? Uh, a mortgage lender, could either refer to the bank, it could refer to the person who's gonna help you throughout that process or your loan originator or mortgage loan officer. Uh, they go by several different titles. We're not gonna really tackle that today. Uh, today's purpose is really just to help you figure out some of the questions you need to ask, how you can get some of those answers and what you need to be on the lookout for. The first thing you really have to understand here is that not all lenders are the same. Uh, lending institutions, there are baseline rules that everyone needs to follow, but they can add additional rules. They can offer different types of programs or incentives for you to use their services. So this is gonna be important as we kind of move along with this conversation. So we know which type of lender you're gonna have to end up working with, or you should end up working with is what I should say. You're always more than welcome to use whatever lender you want. Always keep that in mind. You don't have to use a lender that your realtor uh, tells you to use. You don't have to use your bank. You are open to use anyone who provides mortgages. Now, typically, if I were to meet a client in person, one of the first conversations that we're gonna have is their financial needs. And what I mean by that is, we really need to find out what's most important when you're going to purchase a home. Are you looking for the best rate, the lowest payment? Are you looking for the cheapest cost or maybe you need some help with down payment assistance or you're looking for a low cash to close option that might be available to you. Generally speaking, after I ask these three questions, I'm able to make a solid recommendation on which lender I think might be a good fit for the buyer and the needs that they're trying to fulfill with the financial piece of the transaction. <clears throat> What's important to understand here is not all lenders are the same and they don't offer all of the same products and or services. As I said, I, I like to ask these three specific questions because it really helps me boil a couple of things down and we're gonna kinda unpack them one by one. So again, the first question that I like to ask is the down payment or cash to close question. Are you planning on putting a lot of money down or are you looking for some type of program that will assist you with some of the down payment, possibly even the closing cost? The reason why that question is so important is not every lender has options for, not every lender has options such as down payment assistance or good options for a minimum amount down. So you're gonna wanna work with a lender that does provide these options. Kind of common sense there, right? Now, the second question, do you know if you have excellent 
good or just okay credit, that's going to be important because it may affect what type of down payment assistance programs you offer. It's going to possibly affect your rate. And if you have excellent credit, there are lenders that kind of cater to high credit score buyers. So you may be able to save quite a bit on your closing cost and get a premium rate. Now, most lenders are going to rate or provide an interest rate to you based off credit scores, but there are some companies that just are a little bit more competitive for those types of scores. And if you're working with a real estate agent, they should be able to point you in the right direction on where you're gonna be able to find these types of lenders. If you have good or okay credit, one thing you're gonna to wanna to know is there's a baseline set of rules or guidelines, if you will, that lenders follow to determine whether you're gonna be approved or not approved for a certain type of mortgage or any mortgage in general. But one thing that a lot of folks are not aware of is that certain institutions may have additional rules. Uh, a lot of times we're gonna call these overlays. Uh, just think of them as additional rules that you're gonna now have to follow in order to qualify for a mortgage with any particular mortgage company. So if you have good or okay credit, and one thing I would also kind of slide in here is if you're, if you're self-employed, a little bit more complicated work background, uh, you may be a good fit in this category as well, where you want as many, uh, where you want as few restrictions as possible to qualify for a mortgage. It doesn't mean you're not qualified. It just means you don't have to follow additional rules that aren't really applicable to qualify for a mortgage. So in that sense, it's going to be very important that we get you with a lender that is not going to penalize you for something that they shouldn't have to or aren't required to is maybe a better way of phrasing that. With the third question that I like to ask, it's, are you going to be selling a home or, or do you, the third question that I like to ask is, do you plan on selling a home in order to make your next purchase or do you have a home that you currently own that you would like to sell? Because if you do, one of the other things that we're going to need to look at and explore is, <clears throat> do you have to sell before you buy? Uh, if you do, or if you just don't feel comfortable owning two homes at one time, there are lending institutions that offer special products that will allow you to actually tap into the equity of your home or even make it a little bit more affordable to carry two properties all at once. And they do a great job making that a seamless process. As you can tell, just by asking these simple questions, we're able to narrow down very quickly which type of lenders that you should be working with. One thing to keep in mind is most lenders are going to work on a commission basis, so they're going to do anything they can to try to keep your business, which is why I actually recommend getting your real estate agent's opinion on a possible referral for a mortgage professional. These three basic questions help you figure out what lender you should be working with, but ultimately the, the real question is here, once you figure out what type of lender you need to be working with, how are you going to go about finding them? If you start the process out by going to your bank and getting pre-qualified and you ask your lender if they are going to qualify you for the type of loan that you need, they may or may not be able to resolve that. One thing to keep in mind is they are incentivized to keep that loan. So asking the lender themselves if they're a good fit for you may not be the best idea. Talking with your real estate agent is probably one of the better options. You could always hop online, do a little bit of research. Uh, you could call multiple institutions and ask what type of products they have. Uh, you know, doing your own homework is never a bad idea. So keep that in mind. But if you're working with a top producing real estate agent, they're gonna know most of the, the great lenders in the area. They're gonna be able to walk you through that process and make good recommendations on who you may wanna go work with. Now, another thing to keep in mind is real estate agents do on occasion partner up with certain mortgage lenders. So if you are getting a recommendation and you're not getting multiple recommendations from your real estate agent, don't hesitate to ask them, hey, do you have some type of working relationship with this person? Um, or is this truly an unbiased, unsolicited referral that you're providing me? I would like maybe multiple referrals. Can you mention a couple of different things that, or 
can you mention a couple of different people that I should be reaching out to instead of just one? That would truly give you the best idea of who you should be reaching out to, who you should talk to, what questions to ask. And then ultimately it's gonna help you boil down and figure out who's gonna be best for your needs. I, I do try to keep these videos short. The true purpose of this video was just really to tackle those three questions. We're not gonna go in depth today over different mortgage programs, or I'm not going to call out or recommend any certain lender here in the video. If you do have any mortgage related questions, I'm not a, a mortgage professional. I am a real estate agent, but I am more than happy to help you navigate the process. I did do mortgages for several years before becoming a realtor. And I'm really just more than happy to help you out with any questions that you may have uh, in general. So that's gonna kind of wrap up this video for today. So if you do have any of those questions, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. You can reach out right here in the comments. You can visit us at streetlightrealtors.com, contact info there. Uh, my email, it'll be somewhere in the description. Uh, just don't hesitate to reach out. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do find this content useful, do me a favor, hit the ding. It's like a bell, subscribe. Um, and that way you'll stay up to date on any new information we got coming out.